Mm. We haven't actually gone into the, the banned territory, if you like. Um, our approach to it has been to say, let's find targets which encourage sales, or let's, let's create the environment in which people are more willing to buy EVs rather than impose an absolute ban. I think what you're more likely to see potentially, of course, is that cities will start to introduce zero carbon policies. And so they will be saying to us, um, if you've got an electric or a diesel, if you've got a petrol or diesel vehicle, either you can't bring it in at all to the city, or if you do, we're going to heavily tax you for bringing your car in, so driving us to, to change. I think just saying, oh, we're going to ban all electric and um, diesel vehicles by 2040 is probably a pretty draconian step. Um, and ideally not the ideal way to go. I'd, I'd rather go by making those series of opportunities, if you like, by creating an, an environment in which, for us, the natural choice becomes not to go petrol diesel, but to go, to go electric. I mean, ultimately, you could get to, uh, to a date where you say, well, we've now got to maybe 75% EVs, so now let's say there will be nothing but EVs in five years or 10 years' time, rather than, say, some very long distance. Because the trouble with a very long distance target, of course, is in a way people just don't get it. And, uh, and people say, well, we don't need to change yet, and you know, let's just hang on. Um, whereas if you can create the environment in which they want to change, that's a more positive way of doing it.